Hey everybody, what's going on? What's up? Yay, I'm going to do the Michael Jackson fan tag. Yes, 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 yes. All right, y'all. I've been look I've been waiting forward to doing this tag. I've been looking forward to doing this for a long time. Okay, I saw my buddy Clea. Clea girl. Clea did this video a long, long time ago. Over a year ago. And I've seen it uh, almost over a year ago as well. I was waiting for the right time to do this tag. And I thought, what better time to do it, you know, during his birthday month to celebrate his birthday. So I decided to do it this time and of course I had to think about some of the questions and everything because you know I want to make sure I got them all right but yes this is the tag that I am so happy to do because I get a chance to talk about my man my baby Michael Jackson yes the Michael Jackson fan tag okay so for the few people I was talking to and told them I was doing a surprise video about Michael this is it right here baby this is it the Michael Jackson fan tag this is the one Okay, so this tag has 12 questions, okay? Now, there's one question where I'm not going to answer it right. I'm going to go down the list of the way I want to do it. And when I get to that question, you'll, you'll know it. And then you'll see why. Because I couldn't just answer it the way they did. Out, even out of no disrespect to them, I had to do it a different way, okay? So here we go, y'all. All right, question number one. When did you become a Michael Jackson fan? Shoot. <laughs> I was four years old when I was a fan. Um, some people might say four, yeah, but we can say five for good measure. But I was really, I remember I was four years old. I could barely say my alphabets and everything and Michael Jackson. So, yeah, I was four years old uh, when I became a Michael Jackson fan. And y'all, I'm 37, so I don't want y'all to think I'm no 21, 22 year old. I, I'm old now. So, yeah, f five years old when I was a fan. Four, and we can say five. Four turning five. Okay, number two. Why do you love Michael Jackson as much as you do? Well, shit. <laughs> Y'all got an hour for me to tell you why? <laughs> okay. Um. What can I say? The man was the man was great. I mean, he was a great singer. He was a he was a extraordinary dancer I mean out of this world dancer he had a great heart he was very sweet very kind very giving very loving you know he had he had great talent beyond great and he was fine as hell I mean it's nice that he was a, a great entertainer but hell all he had to do was just stand there and look at me and I would have been I would have been happy with that because he was fine he was fine <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah that's um why I love Michael as much as I do. I just loved everything about the man, everything. The way he talked, his kindness, his 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 generosity, his talent, everything. Okay, number 3, share a funny experience regarding Michael Jackson. Okay, um I want to share two stories cuz I don't know if the first one's going to be funny to y'all, but I know the second one will be. Okay, when I was about eight and Billie Jean came out, Billie Jean, the song, and then the video came out, and I, I was into watching videos a lot back then and even as an adult. So Billie Jean's video came on, and I was looking at it, and I was like, wow, Michael looks so good and everything. I loved his outfit. And it was something about his pants. I just loved his black leather pants. And I actually told my mom, Mom, um, can you buy me some leather pants like Michael Jackson has in the Billie Jean video? And she said, oh, okay, I'll see what I can do, sweetie. I never did get them pants, but I know my mother was like, this god doggone girl. <laughs> I asked her that a while back. I said, you remember me asking you, did, uh, could I get some Michael Jackson pants? She said, yeah, I remember that. I know she must have thought I was, but... I asked her because I just love those pants. They were just so, they look so good on him. And yeah, as a girl, I want to have some pants like Michael Jackson. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? <laughs> okay, so that was a one funny experience. Now, this is the second one. A couple years ago, I was watching a documentary that they did on Michael Jackson. And the documentary was during his back, I mean, it was different areas of his life. But this particular part was during the bad era. And he was dressed up in his, like, black outfit similar to what he did during um the bad video 
Now, for some reason, they showed Michael from the back. Okay, cameraman caught everything. Michael was turned from the back, and he you can see him turn to the side like this. He turned around, and cameraman just panned all the way down from his head to his feet. And they show his booty. I said, ooh, they show Michael Jackson's booty. I said, ooh, it looks so nice. <laughs> I said, ooh, they show Michael's booty. So from then on, when I would go to work, it was a couple people, like maybe two or three, not everybody, people that I was close to and knew I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. I would go up to them and I'd say, hey, like Miss Barbara, Miss Barbara, I say, Michael's booty. And she'll say, girl, get out of here. And I'll go to my friend Lori and I say, Lori, Lori. And she'll be like, what? I'll be like, Michael's booty. <laughs> and they would be like, oh. she'll put her hand over her face. I did that a lot. They they entertained it, but I just thought it was funny because I was, I looked at the thing I said, and I would tell myself, oh my God, they, they, they showed Michael's booty. I said, it wasn't nothing extraordinary except that they just panned down and showed this, and showed this button. It just, I just, I just loved it. So that was my tagline, Michael's booty. But when I was, when I would talk to them, I say Michael's booty. <laughs> so I got a big kick out of that, and they let me they let me have that. So that's my those are my two funny experiences about Michael. Okay, um, number four. <laughs> oh, that was I'm sorry, y'all. That that was so funny to me. Okay, number four. What is or are your favorite physical attributes of Michael Jackson? Shit, everything, shit, everything, he, he, he was just fine. I mean, you know, damn, everything on him was fine. I loved everything on the man. <laughs> okay, seriously, y'all. All right, I'm going to name some, okay, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be respectful. I thought Michael had um, very nice eyes, beautiful eyes all throughout his life. I like Michael's lips, too. Michael had some thin lips, you know, but they look so good on him. I just wanted to kiss those lips. Yeah, I love his lips. He had um he had beautiful teeth. Yeah. He had beautiful teeth. I loved his smile. I loved his teeth. And Michael had beautiful hair. All throughout his years. Um Thriller era, bad era, dangerous. That's when I loved his hair the most. I just wanted to touch his hair. <sighs> I just wanted to touch that man's hair. Just oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, those are my favorite attributes of Michael. Oh, and yeah, he had a nice little tight booty too. I like this little booty. I used to try and look at his booty when I was younger. And as I got older, yeah, yeah. Michael, Michael had a nice little booty. Okay, I said it. <laughs> All right. Um, number five, name your favorite five Michael Jackson songs. Or if this isn't possible, Name the first five that come to mind. Now, this is the one I was telling y'all about that. I'm not going to name the five because I got my list and I can't just name five. I'm going to name y'all all the songs that I think, um, not, not think, I'm going to name y'all name y'all all the songs that are my favorite starting from each um, album, which is Off the Wall, Thriller, Bad, Dangerous, History, and Invincible. And I wrote it down, you know, I don't know if y'all can see that. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget and hum and hum through this through this video okay so i'm gonna try and go as fast as i can i don't want to take too long wow this video is long already okay so here we go favorite songs off the wall okay don't and not in any particular order don't stop until you get enough rock with you rock with you is like my favorite song that's like the first song i remember and i was singing when i was young when i was a, when i first became a fan didn't know nothing about the song but i was singing rock with you okay Working day and night. Yes, this song I love. I had a um a, a record. <laughs> Scared this walk past me with this dog. Okay, um, I had a record because my mother wouldn't let me buy uh, albums back then. Yes, albums. And Rock with You was on the first side, and and Working Day and Night was the was on the second side, side B. And I used to play those songs over and over again until I couldn't play it no more. That's my all-time favorite song working day and night and when he plays in the concert I go crazy because it's just my all time favorite as a young kid and as an adult so that one and then burn this disco out I had that as my um text, text if somebody sent me a text a, long, a while back 
that would be the song that's playing. It's actually in one of my videos too, but you know, if you looked at it, then you know what I'm talking about. Because the phone rang off with a text when I was doing the video. Okay, so those are my songs from Off the Wall. Okay, Thriller, right? Baby Be Mine, all time favorite, 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 favorite song. It's just like if I hear that song, I just I go crazy. I got the whole, I got the um, Thriller album and I remember listening to that song and I was like, oh my god, that is such a wonderful, wonderful song and it's it is my ringtone now. Somebody sends me a text, that's what you'll hear. All time favorite. I love Baby Be Mine. Okay, the girl is mine that he did with Paul McCartney and the lady in my life. I love that song too. It was a choice between that song and another song that I'm going to name later on as my first uh, songs to dance to with my husband but we chose the other song but I love the lady in my life okay from the album Bad okay I just can't stop loving you the way you make me feel those are my all time two favorite songs from that from that album hands down and then this song called Just Good Friends with him and Stevie Wonder I love that song it's, like, it's a nice little cute ditty song I love it okay Dangerous album Remember the time, all-time favorite. In the closet, yes. And give in to me, which I think that song got kind of slept on by a lot of people. But I love that song. I love that. So those those songs from Dangerous. Okay, History, Scream with him and Janet. Oh, all-time favorite favorite song from History. I love that song to death. The words, the video, everything. Come together. Now he did come together during the bad. Uh, error because if you watch Moonwalker he did that song then so I'm assuming that this song when he recorded it was the same then I'm guessing I don't know if he re-recorded it but he actually did that song during the bad era but he didn't put it on uh, any of his CDs until he did the history I know it's a remake by the by the Beatles the Beatles song is good but the way he put his spin on the way he sings it the music and everything is just I love I love that song and I love the message of it. It's it's great. And then I like uh I love You're Not Alone. That's my other favorite song. Sad, sad, but I love it. I love the song. Okay, Invincible, last one. Now, this was a great, great, great album. They slept on this album because this was the shit. He had all kinds of great, great, great songs. I wish they could have put these songs out. He would have made videos from them. They were absolutely fantabulous, okay? But anyway, Invincible, here's my songs. Um, Heartbreaker, Break of Dawn, I love Break of Dawn. Uh, Butterflies, Butterflies actually came out. Okay, as y'all know, 2000 Watts. I think that's his natural voice because it's real deep. I thought they maybe might have played with it and made it deeper than it is, but I think that's his actual natural deep voice on 2000 Watts. I love the song, it's great. You Are My Life. That's the song that me and my husband danced to on our first dance. It was between that one and Lady in My Life. You Are My Life is just, it's just beautiful, y'all. I love that song. I love that song. I love that song. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, Don't Walk Away. Kind of sad, but a very nice song. Okay. So those are my favorite songs. I'm sorry I didn't do it the, <laughs> the way the, the question was made to be, but, but, I wanted to let y'all know my favorite ones and I took the time and wrote them out so that I would not forget them and get them in order from the album so those are my favorites y'all those are my absolute favorites not just five okay okay uh, number six because <laughs> that was number five y'all long number five okay number six favorite short film okay hands down has to be bad it's a I like all his short films but bad is my favorite that's where he got to show his uh, his acting chops. Um, he got angry. He tried to look like a like a thug, <laughs> kind of. It's great when he tells Wes it's nice to leave him alone. I'm tired of you messing with me. Stop it. It's great. Got my way move. That's how Michael probably would really act if he was mad. It, it was just great to see him act. I like Thriller and everything too, but that's my favorite one. Bad for those reasons. The dancing all of it all the way through I love I love that that's my favorite short film it's bad I just love it okay number seven favorite random MJ uh, Michael Jackson video on YouTube okay um 
I like a lot of the um, picture tributes that people have done because I've done a, a few as well. I also like the, they call them fan made, but I call them video tributes where they take different songs and, and he's, uh, they take different clips of his of his videos or his interviews and put it into the song and put it into motion and make a story out of it. Those are my favorite. My favorite, one of my favorite ones is this, is this one that this girl did and it's called Michael Sexy Naughty Bitchy Me by this Asian lady. And... I had never heard the song before when I first looked at it. I looked at it like, what, over two years ago? And she did a great job doing it. It was like her first uh, tribute video, and she did an excellent job with it. I love this. It's actually one of my favorites. It's actually favorited on my channel, so if you want to go and look at it, if you don't know about it, it's there. I think it's a great video. So, Sexy Naughty Bitchy Me video tribute that this girl did on Michael. I thought it was excellent. One of the ones I love. Okay, um, uh, number eight. First Michael Jackson collectible example, uh, CD, poster, etc. Okay, first one I, first, uh, Michael Jackson collectible I got was the Michael Jackson Thriller album. I still have it. It's packed up. I can't make no promises, and even, uh, I think, uh, Rizzo, what's up, Rizzo, baby? Um, <laughs> he asked me, do I have a Michael Jackson collection? I do. I have to really like go through my stuff and take the time out to do it and I do have this album but it is packed up and I got it when I was uh I guess I was eight whenever the album came out my mom took me record shopping I bought other ones too I bought it I will hopefully show it on camera one day soon hopefully but I do have it that's my first one the original thriller album with him on it with the white inside and the big epic album that was my first Michael Jackson collectible Okay, uh, number nine. If you could take Michael Jackson anywhere for a day, where would it be? Aww. Well, gee. Um, I would like to take Michael Jackson skating. I don't know if he could skate or not, but I would love to go to a skating rink and just skate. I used to love skating when I was young. I haven't done it that often since I gained some weight, and, you know, it's kind of hard now to skate. I'm not 18, 19 no more. Like, I used to be able to skate around fast, but I love skating. I would take him skating. I would take him roller skating now. Roller skating. Roller skating. I would take him roller skating. I would take him out to eat somewhere. A regular restaurant. Not necessarily fancy or romantic, but a nice regular sit down restaurant. Um, I would like to take him to the movies. Any kind of movie that we, we could see that we would both like, I would take him to the movies. And then I would uh, take him back to my place and yeah. <laughs> relax and chill and watch some TV and just hang out at my place and just spend some time with him alone privately at my house. That's what I would do. Uh, not necessarily in that or the, the house would be the last thing but you know not necessarily in the order that I told you but that's where I would that's where I would take him for a day if I could those places. Um, number 10 <laughs> I'm sorry y'all bear with me right yeah okay number 10 if you had the chance to meet Michael Jackson what would be your reaction well shit I probably faint <laughs> no I'm, I'm just playing y'all I probably wouldn't faint I would probably get really excited put my hand over my mouth and get get very nervous but try to keep it together and and assuming that I could speak to him I just speak to him and tell him I'm a, I'm a huge fan and you know uh, it's nice to meet you you know that kind of thing but yeah I would probably my eyes would get really big I get really shocked I, I get real nervous but I, but I would pull it together the best way I can I met a few famous people before and gotten really nervous inside and I know people could tell but I was, I was able to hold it together but afterwards it was just like oh my god I can't believe I met so and so so that's how I think I would react it would be 10 times worse because I'm because I love Michael the Dev. I mean I am a huge 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 fan so in any time if I ever saw him whether I was you know, little girl, teenager, adult. Yeah, I would, I would totally be ecstatic. But I would keep it together the best way that I could. Okay. Um, number eleven. If you had the chance to tell Michael Jackson anything at all, what would you say? Oh, well, I say quite a bit of things. Um, I would tell Michael that I am a huge fan of his. 
uh, not the biggest fan because I don't know who the biggest fan is, but one of his biggest fans that I loved him very much, that I thought he was a great singer, great entertainer. I love what he does. He has a good heart. He's very caring, very sweet. I was telling him that he was fine. I said, Michael, you're very, you're very handsome, very fine person. I know you don't think so, but you are so good looking to me and so sexy. And yeah, he would probably blush, but I would, I would tell him all of that. That's why I would tell him if I could. And that, you know, just continue to do what you do. I love what you do. Don't, you know, don't stop. Continue to be the person that you are because you are a wonderful, great person. And it shows through in everything that you do. That's what I would tell Michael. Okay. Uh... All right, number 12, last question. Do you have a favorite Michael Jackson era? If yes, which one? Shoot, there's a lot of them. Um, I can't tell you my favorite because they fall in line for different reasons. I love the Thriller era. That's the era I grew up in where I remember him when I was young enough to remember him the most. Because I was older then. I was like, not older, older, but you know, I was eight, nine years old when Thriller came out. Off the wall, I was real young. So I don't remember it like I remember Thriller. So Thriller's my favorite because I love the way he looked. I loved his music. I was in love with Michael when I was a kid. Yeah, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I was in love with Michael when I was a kid. <laughs> Let my mother tell you, my dad tell you. Yeah. Um, I love the bad era. That's when he started showing up all his body more and being more sexual and sexy and oh he looked so good then too and he and I loved his music. I loved the way he looked. He was coming out of his shell more to me when he when he was doing during the bad era. So <laughs> and I was a teenager then when he was doing the bad era, so it was like Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I love that era. I love the dangerous era. Because he continued to do what he did in the bad era and thriller era. He continued to make great music. He was still fine and sexy. He's still fine and sexy now, but he was fine and sexy. You know, his hair was longer and he did he still did these sexual videos and sexual videos and I was like, Oh Michael Lord Jesus. Now and I was I was in high school then, so I was like, God, God, God <laughs> Michael. Whew, yes. So yeah, so those are my favorite for for different reasons. I was different ages during those times, so I can't say which one's my favorite. They're all they're all basically equally tied. Especially um, well, no, it's, all three of them are equally tied. Thrillers, Thriller is is my favorite. Bad's my favorite, and Dangerous is my favorite for a lot of different reasons. I can't pick which one. All three of them equally. If I see stuff in the bad era, my heart beats. If I see it in Thriller, my heart beats. If I see it in Dangerous, my heart beats. So all three are my favorite. Okay? All right, everybody. So that is it. Those are all 12 questions. Ooh, y'all. This was a long video. I'm so sorry. But I had to talk about my baby and do this tag. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to do another one like this. So I'm sorry it was so long, y'all. But that's it. So those are the 12 questions. Now, I wasn't going to tag people to do this one. I'm going to tag two people because I know most likely they will do this video and they're huge Michael Jackson fans and they got their channel dedicated to Michael. So, Melissa girl, you knew I was going to tag you, right? Do this video. This won't be hard for you at all because I know you can answer this, these questions in your sleep and you have in the past, I believe as well. That I've seen so Melissa do this tag girl oh yeah uh, I haven't forgot about the other tag girls will do the nail polish tag yeah you still need to do that video too okay so don't forget to do that one and of course do this one and uh Bobby Miss Bobby MJ's in my heart girl this is for you too um I, I know you've only done like a couple talking videos but I know this is up your alley as well uh, I would like you to do this tag too if you could alright so and Nisa if you like to do this video as well do it and anybody else if you're interested in doing this tag uh, you can do it or if you want to leave your uh, answers below on my video anybody that's watching the video you want to you can do that too okay alright everybody so that's it um, I thank y'all so much for watching this tag this one 
was dear to my heart because I got a chance to, f to actually actually do a whole video on Michael so I know a few people are loving this video as well as me I love doing this video it was great uh, I, I enjoyed doing it so thank y'all for watching this video okay y'all have a good day have a good evening take care and I will see you in the next video alright alright y'all until then y'all take care and I'll see you soon alright alright everybody Bye. <laughs>